great. Hi, She's Asha. here. Hey, 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 Smriti. How are you? Let's just let me just adjust my cam a little good. bit. How are you, Asha? I'm good. good. Thank you, thank you so much, and uh, just hoping that everyone in the group also is doing good. So, uh, can yeah. we have a quick uh, round of introduction for you? Yeah, sure. So, as now most of the viewers would must be knowing, I am Smriti, a home baker, and I have a venture uh, baker heart where I am dealing with all uh, eggless uh, baking. I do eggless baking cakes, customized cakes, team cakes. chocolates ice cream cookies all kinds of like whatever related to baking you can think of and i am i i do to take uh, like orders as well for the special occasions otherwise i am conducting uh, sessions for those classes for those for people who want to learn them so that everything is uh, uh, taught uh, from scratch so that uh, a beginner even can uh, benefit who has never probably uh, entered the kitchen and as we know this lockdown uh, it has like most of us have uh, understood that how important it, it has become for us to at least know a simple baking also so yeah the, for that i'll say that uh, i conduct classes for those and uh, that's it lovely so i i really think a lot of uh, group members already actually know smriti and uh, let me just also mention one thing over here is that this session in this session so uh, because uh, there was a very very tight competition between smriti and pooja dhuneja who is our next um you know our uh, another very very favorite baker and i call these two smriti and pooja baker sisters so <laughs> so pooja was also a very close in the poll and uh, smriti and i discussed that we probably pooja could also ask two questions and smriti has been very very kind to all of us and the pooja uh, so smriti will also be asking two questions on behalf of pooja so uh, guys uh, okay i think let's uh, let's just start with the session so smriti is going to ask uh, questions and i'm going to uh, i'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge so i think shriti is asking where are you based shriti uh, smriti is based out of gurgaon uh, i will be sharing her uh, page link in the um, comment section and uh, you can probably connect with her after that hi vibha hi sheetal hi tunga how are you guys hi swati okay so i will be hi ruchi i will be giving uh, smriti's uh, can um, you know page link for you all to see after the session in the comment section and also one very very big surprise for all the live viewers so after the session we will announce that i'm going to put in um, you know creative in the group and i will announce the surprise for all of you after we're done with this session okay so uh, let's start smriti let's start with the first question yeah so uh, my first question i have actually noted down few of the questions uh, as that so uh, now see uh, so my first question would be like um, we uh, in all the uh, like uh, business we all uh, obviously we have lots of competitors that is not a, uh, an issue obviously because uh, with competition it makes us more uh, like uh, if you know it, it is it makes us more competitive and try more new things but how to what i am noticing during this lockdown is that people are lowering their products uh, pri uh, maybe like product prices or the services like since i am into uh, taking classes also they are lowering the price just to attract the masses that i understand uh, but how to deal with the uh, with uh, those uh, competitions by lowering the prices uh, actually for their right. product or be uh, for their services right 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 so basically smriti's question is that guys uh, our competition is lowering the market price of either the products or the online classes and how can one deal with it without uh, compromising on your exactly. quality right because we do not want to compromise exactly. on the quality of our products great question uh, smriti because i think a lot of people are facing this issue that how to deal with this situation because the competition constantly keeps on lowering their prices so i think the first uh, thing that you probably want to do is do a complete volume up and volume down okay 
is their proposition? What is it that they are offering? So it could probably be an incentive. It could be they are offering less number of products. It could be they are offering less, um, you know, weight quantity. So for example, you might be offering a cake of two kgs, but they are offering a cake of one point five kgs. So these are, um, you know, or generally they are using a lower quality product. So we probably want to first of all know what is their modus operandi. How are they, um, you know, um, how are they able to lower their prices so much? Because anyone, if they are giving good quality products, it becomes very very difficult to lower our prices. Then uh, you, um, you know, in because in your case we have discussed earlier also uh, that people are using some people, of course, are using. Um, products that are of low quality, because I think you have True. probably done a basic uh, research for yourself. Then um, you know we prob we have to educate our clients. We have to make sure that they know that um, uh, that if someone is giving you a low price, it doesn't mean that they are actually providing you with the quality product. And especially when it comes to bakery items or when it comes to food, uh, all of everyone in the home consumes it, even kids. And what I feel is that it is important to educate mothers. It is important to educate parents that just by lowering the prices, um, you know, they might be compromising on uh, what they are feeding to their kids. So it also happens without our knowledge. So for a person like me. Who do not have a huge knowledge of baking, I might think that it's you know um, if I'm getting something at a lower price, it it probably is fine. So it becomes our exactly. duty as a service as a service provider or as a baker, it becomes our duty to educate the client and then let them make an informed decision. If in case you have done all these things already. Then we probably, um, you know, can, you can try the following options that I'm just sharing with you. You can add certain kinds of benefits, um, you know, in your products and inform your clients about it in broad bullet points. So it necessarily not just be a discount. So I'm what I'm not saying is that just go about and give discount. What I'm saying is that you could probably try to add on some kind of incentive. So if you're doing one very small paid class, so tell them that I am including this class in your package. Or if you are, um, you know, if you are able to, uh, or if you're doing some, so for example, if someone is getting cake, so you could probably offer them, um, you know, muffins also. So I'll add on a small pack of muffin also for you. So th this could be one of the things that you could try to do. Then, um, you know, prob we also want to think whether we are dealing with the right client or right customer or not. Is this customer someone who is just valuing money and is not valuing the quality of the product that you are doing or your work or not? So that uh, conversation is also very, very important. And we have to do this conversation with ourselves. Then uh, you also have to, um, you know, uh, think of reworking your pricing strategy. So I'll give you one um, uh, 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 very small example, because sometimes we think that we want to give our best. But at times for a client, it might not be as good. So for example, if in the market you are getting, uh, say, six uh, muffins for 120 rupees and we are giving eight muffins for 200 rupees. So uh, there is a difference. If we bring down our muffins also to six and then we are able to lower the price to maybe 150 or something, it might turn out to be better for the client because for a family of two, muffin, eight muffins becomes a lot. Six muffins uh, is okay for a family of two or for a family of three people. So try to rework the quantity that you are giving. But because for a person, for a customer, there is a difference of 80 rupees, 120 and 200. So there's a difference of 80 rupees exactly. for that person. And we think that we want to give our best. Sometimes we miss on such, um, you know, small pricing points. So uh, think about it. How can you rework this pricing strategy for yourself? 
then uh, also this is this might sound a bit weird but uh, what i really want you guys all of you not just you all of you to do is really think you know need for us to worry because another example one uh, market competitor might be um, you know selling four cakes a week and they are selling it at 100 rupees and they're making 400 rupees in a week you might be selling three cakes in a week and selling them at um, you know 150 rupees so that makes your pricing at 450 rupees so in the end when it comes to the monthly um, you know uh, profit uh, if you see about the monthly profit they have sold probably 16 cakes you have sold probably 12 cakes so um sunne mein lagta hai ki hamare number of cakes kitne kam hue but end of the day we are working with better clients we are working smartly and we are still earning more than our market competitor so that is why market uh, um you know search and competition mapping is important and then reminding ourselves whether there is a need for us to worry or not can we channel that anxiety that worry on um, you know towards marketing ourselves in a bit better way so uh, and if this is happening then try to keep reminding yourself that you know i am working with best set of clients and that's not some people are not my target audience and it's completely fine everyone has priorities these clients also yeah. have their own priorities yeah okay okay yeah thank you asta this answers my questions a lot great okay so my second question was uh, mm -hmm. how can we market our products in a much better way social media is one thing mm -hmm. apart from mm -hmm. that like uh, no, can you elaborate a mix on that yes so uh, actually smriti i uh, initially in my initial days when i was starting i had a mom from jaipur and i did uh, quite a, um, you know quite a research so oh looks like uh, uh, smriti's internet is not working guys never mind i'm just uh, going on let me answer her question so uh, smriti's question is that uh, uh, basically how can you you know better market your product so in terms of baking baking products bakery products or food products how can you market them better so um, even though that uh, um, i have done quite a bit of research on it for especially for baking products because i had a very very good client from jaipur and i would really got you know uh, uh, so smriti saying that she got disconnected no worries smriti let me know when can i invite you once again okay so uh, um i would want to say that there are a lot of activities that i ideally want you guys to do and uh, i they probably are not possible as of now so you, so so there are a lot of uh, um you know uh, apart from social media there are a lot of offline ad um, uh, marketing activities that i would want to share then probably i am going to share it with you all after um, the lockdown opens up but then for now these are the things that you can do hi namrata hi rakhi how are you guys hi shruti hi ritu okay so the first thing that i want to uh, guys to note is that you know focus on focus on your reviews so a lot of times we are just concerned with our sales a lot of times we just think that you know we, uh, uh, we we focus on the revenue that we are bringing that's that is definitely one of the most important things but then it is also important to connect with our clients build long time relationships with them and ask them for reviews so ask for your honest reviews first of all ask your clients that please be candid with me please share with me your reviews and it's completely fine if it is a negative review because that will help me grow in my work that is going to help me improve in my work hi rekha how are you so uh it is it is important that we seek um our clients reviews and we take them very very positively okay so uh 
next thing that you can do is of course videos and live sessions so they are very important for us so especially if i talk about smriti's case uh, because i have uh, gone through smriti's page i think smriti you need to um, uh, uh, do a little bit of more live sessions on your page so you have done a live session with mrs diva you have done a live session with ritu but i could not see a live session on your page so start going live let your because we are bringing in traffic from a lot of sources we are we are sending in traffic from mrs diva we are um, uh, so puja saying but sometimes don't know why they don't want to share so yes puja uh, that is how reviews work if we ask uh, 10 clients or 12 or 15 clients you probably will get just one review so it is it is fine that's how market really works and um, Uh, that's how we have to just do with it uh, so at times a lot of people don't want to share their reviews but then let's let's like uh, that's the uh, truth of or that's the reality of any industry so it's completely fine hi anju ji how are you hi raki okay so then start going live start doing small uh, videos hi ritu how are you start doing small sessions on your own page as well make small videos make short videos make um you know uh, basically build up that connection so connect connect building up that connection is important hi pavan how are you that that is very very important then you probably could try to introduce some kind of uh, loyalty bonus or some kind of referral for uh, referral uh, program for the clients who are sticking with you so um, basically we are um, you know rewarding our client and we are uh, thanking them it's it's kind of a thank you gesture from our side that you have been with us for so long so um, you know this is something that i would like to offer you it necessarily not uh, always be in terms of money it could also be in terms of your own um, online classes so maybe you could plan one session for all the clients who have been with you for very very long you can send out invitations to them send out a very um, you know do a nice creative and send out the invitation to them and telling them that uh, Uh, yes, sure, sure, Smriti. I'm just going to connect um, you after the, this uh, answer. So uh, try to um, you know uh, include them in your work, or maybe give them a sneak peek of um, you know behind the scenes. So if you are making something, tell them that I would like to include you in making make in the making process. So if you are, for example, if it is for a repeat client, if you are making a cake for a repeat client. then you probably can tell them that would you want to uh, you know be a part of the process so i think that this is how we will be able to build up relationships and they go a very long way hi dr poonam so babta is uh, uh, saying that people are happily Uh, people happily enjoy meals but not happy to share the reviews yes babta i agree that happens and that happens to a lot of us i think 90% of people follow face this problem that people are not ready to share their reviews and that's how uh, things are and we somehow have to like um, you know adjust with it so that's all uh, i can say people really at times they are not ready to share reviews and it happens to me also so i mean i really understand uh, uh, this situation okay then uh, guys you can probably also think about menu expansion or menu revision so do an audit kind of thing for yourself and see how, how which products are working best for you and which products are not performing as good for you so not performing good as in you're not getting a lot of repeat orders for those products so it's always best to not focus on those products and introduce new ones so in the current scenario try to introduce some more of healthy options like whole wheat options oat options or if you it is possible for you get into gluten free so uh, basically a lot of uh, uh, kids also uh, uh, they are allergic to certain food items so if it is possible try to do a mix of things so uh, this way you can provide uh options to your clients also and not focus on the products that are not uh, running good for you so the, because there is no point keeping always keeping them in your menu if there is a special request then of course it's a um it's a separate thing but otherwise the, it's completely okay to take them out from your own um, regular menu then another very important point is effective and open communication with our clients 
always try to maintain your database always try to stay connected with your clients now it doesn't mean that you go out and send them a message every day no one message in 20 25 days is perfectly fine to connect with our client it could be an offer it could also be any uh, you know just a simple uh, a creative sending uh, saying um, um, you know greetings from uh, baker heart so baker heart because uh, that is uh, smriti's uh, brand so we it gives your client a top of the mind recall value try to keep their birth dates or anniversary dates in the database so i'm sure all of you must be uh, preparing your excel sheets where you have the details of all your clients so try to um, you know uh, take a look at that excel sheet and if it, there is a birthday coming up in uh, next month or next week of your client or their kids it is a great idea to send them a message and if it is a repeat client then send them a message that i would like to offer 10% off maybe on the next order from my side so it just shows the client that you are you are uh, you value them and you they feel connected with you so because discounts can only take your lower quality or lower value can only take you to a certain place after that only building relationships work people are ready to pay more if you are um, you know able to connect with them so that is something that is uh, we uh, probably should uh, you know uh, try to focus on the next point is pictures try to take up a small picture on food photography from your mobile phone so there are a lot of courses available on udemy or uh, maybe coursera and, or even if simple um, you know go uh, you few google videos also so you can see a lot of youtube videos on how to improve your phone photography skills when it comes to food photography so pictures play a very good role and very important role when we are trying to sell food items so this is how you can improve your skills in terms of photography then while delivering your product try to always um, you know include some small goodie so if the person has ordered something which is not a regular product from you then send in one small sample of your most running product or if that person has ordered something that goes out a lot for you then include a very small sample of what is there to come thank you kiran thank you so much so it uh, it kind of gives uh, the client perspective of what you can do apart from what you uh, what they have ordered from you and of course uh, if you are sending sam sending out samples for something new in most probable uh, in most probable they are going to you know uh, order it back from you so they would want to say so if, for example you have sent a birthday cake send in two muffins or uh, two oat muffins that you are about to introduce and then they they are going to call you back and say that these muffins are very nice could you please um, you know make some more for me so think of it in that way then uh, see if you can sponsor a small birthday party or small kitty party so i'm not saying that you, uh, go about sponsoring very big events because i know that could be a lot of expense for you but try to do it uh, with when it is a very very small gathering especially with return clients or references of return clients hi divya how are you okay then um, you know like i said that uh, reviews are very important and why i was saying it because because everybody knows that bakers are favorite people in the world so hamare sabke jo favorite log hote hain wo wo hote hain jinko cake bahut acche se banana aata hai uh, i think uh, if especially for me i really love people who know how to bake more so because people attach an emotional value to it so uh, cakes are not something that we get to eat every day so we don't eat cakes every day they are very special to us so it has an emotional value so that is why it is important to connect with people and that can be done when we are um, you know we are obvious we are talking to our clients so do just do a uh, um, you know kind of impromptu phone call uh, give them a message write them a message that i would just like to take uh, your uh, review on how did you like my product or how did you like my session because smriti is also doing a lot of online uh, baking classes so should she takes baking classes so it is uh, it is probably a good idea for her that she can um, you know get that initial first reaction i think smriti we told, we spoke about it in our last session as well that 
first reactions are always great so when that cake comes out of the oven freshly baked and it has uh, it is all aromatic and um, you know your whole sm house smells like um, like a bakery everybody loves that so these type of things they are very very important and then um, you know in today's time try to focus on how um uh, you know how are you following or how are you complying towards all the safety food standards so because everybody knows that big companies they have compliances and they stick to them at times i, I mean um, i really hope that they always stick to them but for for a home baker or a home cook it is always a good idea and especially during this time inform your clients that you are actually taking care or you are worried that they should not fall ill and that's why you are taking all the necessary steps do it over a video make short videos or talk to them come live and tell them that see i am following these processes because your health your kids health is the most important thing for me even if i have to spend extra money on it even if i have to decrease my margin i am going to take care that i give you the um, most uh, you know uh, i follow up the uh, all the sanitization processes or the um, steps that are there so this in this information for your client is very important because it is going to build a trust in them and then you always guys make a marketing plan so i always say that we can build up a very very good product we can build um, you know if we talk about uh, anything uh, uh, so smriti saying yes for online session and connect with my participants if they understood or if they faced any issues yes absolutely this is what i'm talking about smriti so you have to speak to them you have to connect with them that if you if they have and i'm sure that you would see the difference in their responses when you actually speak to them right so uh, so what i was saying is that always start with a marketing plan guys we make wonderful products you guys you all are experts in your uh, um, you know in your field in your arts but if there is um, no customer or if someone if there is nobody to buy the product then there absolutely there uh, is no meaning to any product because we can keep on making the product and doing stuff but there is no buyer at all that is why do a marketing plan make a marketing plan for yourself that how are you going to market a product and for any of you if you are facing any problems you know you can always connect with me i'm always available for you guys hi neha thank you hey nidhi how are you so guys i'm just sending in request for smriti once again let's see if she is able to connect this time uh smriti i've added you please try to accept the invitation if you can see it on your screen oh yay she's back yay <laughs> okay so i hope i have answered the question of marketing the uh, the marketing your product so I, actually i really would want to take this question up once again when we are done with the um, lockdown and everything because there are a lot of offline marketing activities that i have uh, done with my earlier client and they have resulted in very they have resulted very good so um, uh, doing sessions and uh, tasting sessions were amazing so we'll discuss about it once we are through with um, everything that's happening around mm -hmm. hi sakshi how are you okay so smriti uh, let's move on on the next question is very uh, wonderful points uh, asta i must say for the uh, the actually for these two questions i have noted down few of the things which uh, probably we know but we we will don't implement those things so yes i feel uh, this will be very important uh, these are very important uh, points for me so the next question will move forward is uh, the question uh, that is by pooja this is uh, pooja's question she wanted to know that uh, how to change the name of our facebook page and uh, add uh, add them as an admin probably okay. uh, i am i feel she's having some issues with the uh, admin right. uh, process so yes right 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 so uh, guys yeah. actually this question is uh, asked by pooja juneja who is uh, uh, also um, you know a baker whom she is a home chef and baker and the problem that she is facing is that she is unable to change the name of her page and she is not an admin on her facebook page the facebook page has her husband's profile as the admin 
so why we are taking up this question is because this uh, this question actually this might be one of the problems that a lot of you must be facing so uh, we can connect it with rebranding so uh, changing the name of the page a lot of people think that should we do it or should we not do it so guys it is completely fine if you want to rebrand your um, venture and you should definitely go for it now let's just see so i've written down the uh, steps pooja maybe you can uh, try to do it after the live so what you have to do is that open your facebook page from the uh, admin profile so go uh, from your husband's profile go to your facebook page scroll it down a little and on the left side you will see an about section so just in front where uh, it's written about you will see a see all clip a clickable link so click on that see all link and it will open the um, you know general uh, uh, information for your facebook page you can change the name of your facebook page and the username as well from there you will see the options both the options there next question that pooja has asked us is how can she uh, include her name as the admin on her page so pooja once again you will have to use your husband's profile first so um, in the top bar you will see some uh, options and you will see the left side on the left side margin you will see a lot of uh, options um one option is page roles so come to the page roles click on page roles and you will see on your right side a lot of options will open up scroll a little bit and you will see the option of adding someone on your page so uh, you can assign a role so if it is your because it's your own page assign yourself as the admin's role but a lot of times we want to we want other people to come live on our page like for example it happens with mrs viva also uh, we keep on inviting a lot of experts on our facebook page so that in that case i always assign the role of an editor so editor has the right of going live on the page but uh, just as uh, um, you know as a piece of information that all of you should know never assign admin rights to anyone else on your page unless of course it's your immediate family member because an admin can remove another admin which you do not absolutely want in no case so uh, try to just do it uh, try to give them the editor rights so give them editor rights or analyst rights so there is there is a whole hierarchy so pooja is saying i am not able to see you you are not able to see me oh smriti can you see me is it working yeah, yeah, fine for you actually i think there is some network issues at times the, the video is hanging so i guess uh, uh, pooja okay. you'll be able to see her there there is a little network issue uh, okay okay so i think pooja pooja is able to see me so i think this is uh, this is how you can simply do it if you still don't understand pooja we can uh, like connect with it after the session connect with the, each other after the session and i'll uh, let you know it's a very simple process don't worry and pooja yes you have two pages we have already spoken about it so in if in case any of you guys have two pages you have to merge your pages and uh, that also is uh, not a very uh, difficult process but yes it is a bit of a time taking process but then you want all your clients and likes and followers to be on one single platform so uh, we'll speak about it after uh, a few days okay so uh, i think smriti can we go on to the next question yeah again this is a question by pooja but i'm sure it will be helpful for me as well because yes uh, even i face this situation with what her question mm -hmm. is how to deal with a situation when clients are not ready for class at the same time it happens many a times with me as well that uh, i let's suppose i have 15 to 20 people waiting for one class but uh, making them come together at the same time is really a very big problem and then uh, like how to do that How sure. to deal with so, this 
definitely definitely smriti so neha is saying nice tip to not make an any an ad yes neha it is very important that you keep the admin rights to yourself for your page because you do not want anyone else to um you know remove uh, you as an admin from your page because then yes. you will not have any rights on your page and that's something that you don't want to be uh, you know a situation you'd never want to be in okay so now let's take uh, up one point question i'll also want to add yes just uh, to this admin wala thing i, I wanted to uh, share one incident with a very close relative relative they had actually uh, taken help of a third party uh, people someone uh, they have like uh, for their page for uh, for the social media kind of thing it was for instagram mm-hmm. i think and uh, when their contract ended uh, it came to a situation where the third party was not uh, uh, they they changed the uh, username and password of the uh, page and uh, i mean all the followers and everything which was going till a uh, uh, situation all those things were uh, they were not ready to share only and probably they had to enter some legal kind of thing because it was a big venture uh, i was i am talking about so yes this is one thing i'll say not even if you are uh, hiring a third party for it ad- at least your username and password you should only be the admin uh, right should be the, uh, with the owner only i think absolutely smriti this is very very important i actually have a lot of incidents where this thing has happened and i um, yeah. this is why i always keep on stressing keep the admin rights with you every platform has given hierarchy to help you in this way you can make editor you can make moderator you can make an analyst also and no person apart from you needs admin rights of your page and it is something you know it's very very important for you to protect those admin rights because like smriti just said people can just deny you the um, you know uh, the right of your page to you so that is a very very exactly. tricky situation and for people who have the power they can take the legal way but for uh, you know startups like us or a home and or a um, you know mompreneur uh, like you it gets very difficult to deal with these situations because you already mm-hmm. have so much uh, going on so it becomes a big hassle so let's try to avoid it and let's not give admin rights to anybody for any of our social media accounts okay so uh, let's just quickly deal uh, uh, you know answer this question how to deal when people are not ready to um, hi subhi how are you doing so when you are when the members are not ready to come for the class at the same time so the first thing guys that we have to understand is that we cannot keep different schedules all the time for everyone it is actually impossible and for someone who is serious about taking a class they would try to at least adjust their schedule around it because you know uh, when it's it's the classes of our kids no nobody can nobody can go and tell the school that you know i i my kid is busy at this time or my kid sleeps in the afternoon how can you keep the class in the afternoon please shift it at that that this time or that time so it goes the similar way you are a teacher you are teaching something and you are going to keep the timing of the class which suits maximum number of people it might not suit everybody but you can have to keep it at a um uh, at a time that suits maximum number of people so uh, from maybe from your side what you guys can do is try to keep it uh, uh, you know can try to keep it a comfortable time uh, bracket for your clients maybe do do a little bit of poll ask them which is the uh, most comfortable time of course avoiding times like lunch and dinner and or maybe breakfast time you can try and avoid doing that and uh, try to keep the batches uh, uh, in a different uh, a different time um, you know bracket so for example do a class in this week in morning do the next class uh, after two weeks in the evening and see which time is performing better for you that will also give you uh, more perspective about when are people joining in for your classes then after you have decided a time for the class do not uh you know uh, ask for the client's opinion because that creates problem they think that you are open to changing the time but it is not possible for you to change the time with every new client who is coming up for signing up and signing up with your mm-hmm. class right so uh, give them um, uh, tell them that this is the time and uh, uh, i really hope that you can make you know attend it if not then i'm going to keep the same class after two weeks or three weeks and if it is suitable for you then you can opt in for that time 
now if uh, there is someone who still complains that uh, i cannot attend this class then offer them individual class and tell them that because it will be an individual class it is going to cost you much higher so when we say this most of the times people try to adjust their own schedules because nobody wants to pay a higher uh, amount for the same class but it uh, at times becomes important for us to make the other person realize the value of our time also you know because as a teacher you are also spending time and in baking you are uh, using your products also and uh, this is the lockdown period and you cannot like sell anything um, just like that so it becomes important for you also to make the other person understand that your time uh, is also very very valuable then alternatively what you can do is uh, develop online course or um, you know video and upload them on uh, some platform which could be password protected so you do that um, uh, do your class record your class and then upload it there anyone who has an issue with your time schedule can pay you and watch that video so you have to inform that it will not be a live video it will be a recorded class it will be an online course and they can take it whenever they want to this kind of becomes a win win situation for you because you can bring down the value to the normal classes that you are conducting so because if you give an individual class then uh, for example if your uh, uh, you know group class costs 500 rupees then in individual class you will um, probably have to do the price as 1500 so that could go very very high but if you have recorded your class and you are sending in the recorded session to anyone then it becomes a little bit easier for them and for you you can keep the price to 500 only so think of this thing as an option then uh, uh, you know if uh, so you have but you have to yes actually tell the client that you uh, just try to give them options you can tell them that uh, you can either take a live class with me you can take an individual class with me or you can wait until next week or you can you know take the recorded sessions these would be password protected sessions so smriti i think we spoke about certain websites in our last class also uh, last yeah. session that we had so try to um, you know use those websites so uh, vinita mm -hmm. is asking how do you password protect the recorded class so vinita it is not possible to password protect a class uh, or a recorded video in uh, a simple websites like youtube and everything but i've done a video on the and it is on my youtube channel where you will find the information on the websites that are providing this facility you can simply check out the info and the name of the websites there okay and i think that if still someone ends up complaining then probably they are not serious about taking your class then just let them go <laughs> if they are still thinking that uh, you know they are they cannot adjust then it's okay let them go hi shreya how are you no. right so actually there are not a lot of things which you can do around scheduling you can just make sure from your side that you are um, able to take up the time which is comfortable for most people so if you ask me what i do personally is i have a private group uh, for webinars that i conduct on facebook it's a group that i have created and i add people who are paying for that particular webinar so i let that video uh, in that group stay for next 3 4 days so for example if i conduct the webinar on sunday that video will remain in that facebook group for uh, uh, until next uh, friday or uh, saturday for four five days and the members also will be there in the group because i usually keep a gap of one or two weeks between my webinar so this is something that i mm. am able to easily manage so i give this option that okay if you are unable to uh, watch it live you can probably watch it on monday you can probably watch it on tuesday or uh, wednesday or thursday because you have like four five days so this becomes a bit easier for the uh, client who is uh, taking the class they feel that you know uh, i can watch it later on also or if i'm able to not able to um, you know attend it live i can watch it uh, after a day or two so in my last webinar one of my clients was shifting her home uh, on that particular day and she asked me can i view it later on i said it will be there for next 5 days and she got very happy about it so it's just Uh, the um, you know question of giving an option to the client so if you are able to do that uh, do your live sessions through uh, web uh, facebook groups it becomes uh, a little bit easier and of course uh, on sunday i usually uh, dissolve that group 
so uh, that uh, the webinar group so that's how but then of course uh, you are going to yourself uh, uh, have to do it like you have to remove that group also okay yeah so i think we are done with the questions yes uh, yes smriti yeah. so i uh, so um guys uh, yeah. i think these answers uh, were helpful for you not just smriti not just pooja but for all other home bakers and home cooks also guys because you guys are doing amazing work wonderful work and i i totally understand that at times we lack in marketing and advertising of our products and services so um i really hope you can apply these points and if you have any feedback for this session please do share with me you can directly reach me via whatsapp all of you have my whatsapp numbers and uh, thank you so much guys for staying with us for so long thank you smriti thank you for that wonderful session we had with you last month and i think a lot of us made that uh, garlic bread yeah. i you know it's not due for me to make it next uh, one more time <laughs> so i was just discussing <laughs> yesterday also that i have to make it once again and thank you so much pooja for those cheese ball recipes that you did with for us uh, last month and that was also amazing and thanks to all other experts who have been sharing their knowledge with us thank you thank you everyone we're just going to end the session here thank, thank you asa thank you thank you okay it was really Bye -bye. very informative uh, the session was really very informative for us many new ideas which uh, we can actually implement in our uh, like uh, in our, uh, with the current situation yes we can implement these uh, things thank you so much bye bye bye